Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTech. In this video, I am going to compare the Anabishmark test comparison between the Snapdragon 888 processor versus Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. Yes friends, finally we got the actual results for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor in the Moto Edge X30 device. Yes, previously we did get some kind of leaks and rumors about the Anabishmark score. But right now I am going to show you the screenshot which I have taken and I collected online. So which I will try to show you friends exactly what will be the Anabishmark score in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. And this is the actual score what the Moto H uh, 30 has got demonstration as you can see on the release of the phone that is what they demonstrated that phone will be having a 10 lakhs of Android benchmark score but actually it's kind of slightly different in the actual results I'll try to show you exactly. So this is the actual score we are getting friends in the Moto H uh, 30 device as you can compare the side by side with the Snapdragon 888 processor you can clearly see. So I did see a couple of uh, online websites and even the videos as well to get this kind of screenshots. So I did gather this kind of screenshot from I think YouTube channel Technic. From there I did take the screenshot. So I thought of showing you exactly comparison. So much difference we can actually expect with the CPU and the GPU comparisons. So in the CPU segment there is nothing much huge improvement with the Snapdragon 888 processor as you can clearly see. 2 lakhs 13,000 versus 2 lakh 30. So not much improved. But overall regarding the GPU, GPU is the major changed as you can see. It increased by 1 lakh I think. 1 lakh 10,000 and 1 lakh 20,000 somewhere around that increased a huge difference with the GPU. So GPU is going to be a huge uh, bump in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. That's something I thought of just mentioning. So this is the main purpose of. So after comparing side by side like this, you will be able to understand exactly what's happening with the next generation 8 Gen 1 processor versus right now generation with the Snapdragon 888 processor. You can actually compare. So only the change is there in the GPU segment. GPU segment has been increased a lot in the new uh, chipset which is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset. Let me do the quick math of this how much difference we can actually expect from this one. So 434 and minus I just want to do the GPU difference how much it can be there exactly. And let's see. I think there's a difference of close to 1 lakh 14,000 differences there only for the GPU segment as you can see friends and in the overall score let me try to compare the overall score on the top how much difference so let's take the big value minus 8, 2, 8, 9, 6, 7. So overall the score is difference of 1 lakh 61,000 differences there with the overall score right? as you can clearly see friends so overall score this is the highest score which I got in the realme GT now I think this is the highest score. 1 lakh 29,000, 8 lakh 29,000, nothing much huge different but still as you can clearly see. So that's it friends, thank you for watching this a quick comparison between these both processors which are of just explaining to you all what's going on. And maybe with the future updates the phone might be able to reach 1 lakh benchmarks as well in this uh, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor in the Moto H X, H, uh, X30 device. And meanwhile signing off friends, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates. Bye.